This is Math 1201 video number eight. In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the building blocks we're going to use in the next video. And those building blocks are called minors and cofactors. Let's start off by defining the minor of a square matrix. If we have a matrix A that is square, we say that the minor of the entry Aij is the determinant of a submatrix that's formed by deleting row i and column j from our original matrix A. To denote our minor, we usually use a capital M with sub ij. So let's take a look at an example of how to calculate some minors for a 3 by 3 matrix. So let's say we would like to find the minor of the 1, 2 entry. What I usually do is I try to find this 1, 2 entry. So I'm looking at row 1, column 2. That is this negative 1. As soon as you figure out which entry you're looking at, we're going to delete the row and the column that that entry is in. So in this case, I'm getting rid of all of the information in row 1 and all of the information in column number 2. Whatever numbers are left over are going to be the numbers that we need to calculate our minor. So the numbers that are left over are minus 1, 2, minus 3, and 7. And we're interested in finding the determinant of this 2 by 2 matrix. That's something that we've done in one of the previous videos. That's going to be these two numbers multiplied together and subtract these two numbers multiplied together. So the minor of the 1, 2 entry is 7, uh, sorry, minus 7 plus 6 or negative 1. Next, let's calculate the minor M3, 2. So in this case, we're looking at row 3, column 2. Here's row 3, column 2 is down here, so we're looking at the entry 4. We're going to delete all of the information in row 3 and all of the information in column 2. And whatever numbers are left over, we have to calculate the determinant of that submatrix. So in this case, we have 0, 3, minus 1, and 2. And again, we're going to use the weave method. So our first number will be 0, and we subtract negative 3. So this minor is equal to 3. If you're ever finding minors for a 2 by 2 matrix, you're going to run into a really weird situation. So in this case, we would like to find the minor of the 1, 1 entry. And when we circle the 1, 1 entry, and we delete all of the information in row 1 and column 1, we're just left with a single number, 4. That's going to be the minor of the 1, 1 entry. Lastly, we're going to take a look at how to handle a 4 by 4 matrix. These will be the largest matrices you're likely to see in the course. If you do have to calculate a minor for a 4x4 four four matrix, we're going to end up with a 3x3 three three determinant that we have to calculate. Uh, and the easiest way to do that is using the weave method that we saw in the last video. So, find the 4-2 entry. That is in 1, 2, 3, row 4, and column 2. So that is right here, this 0. We are going to delete all of the information in row 4, and all of the information in column 2. And these numbers that are left over become our determinant. So we're going to calculate the determinant of 0, 2, 5, minus 1, minus 1, 0, and 2, 1, 1. And here it is, all of the work to find that 3 by 3 determinant using the weave method. Now there's a little bit of different notation that you're going to see creep up in your examples, in the textbook, and maybe on my lecture slides as well um, when we're talking about determinants. And that is these vertical bars. So these vertical bars here and here are a different way to say, take the determinant of this matrix that is inside. Okay, that's what these vertical bars mean. And again, just a quick review as to where this final answer of 7 comes from. 
is we need to add the first two columns of this matrix and we do the weave method. So our first number we get is 0 plus 0 plus minus 5. And then we do down n to the left. So our first number here is minus 10, 0, and minus 2. Add that all up and you should get a final minor that's equal to 7. So now that we've defined and taken a look at some examples of minors, the next definition is what a cofactor is. This is the most important building block that we're going to use in the next little while. The cofactors are going to help us calculate determinants of really, really big matrices. A cofactor is given by a formula, and inside that formula you're going to have to calculate the minor of an entry. So if we look at entry AIJ of a square matrix A, the cofactor is given by the formula minus 1 to the power of I plus J times the corresponding minor, MIJ. So I usually use the capital M for minor and the capital C for cofactor. Here's a little note to help you out as you're calculating these cofactors. And it comes down to whether or not the I plus J is going to be even or the I plus J is going to be odd. If the I plus J is even, then the minus 1 to the power of I plus J is going to be a positive 1. And the cofactor is just going to be equal to the minor of that entry. If your I plus J is odd, then the negative 1 to the power of I plus J is going to give us a negative 1. And the cofactor is going to be equal to the negative of that minor of the entry. Next, let's calculate a couple cofactors for a 3 by 3 matrix. So the first thing I do is either I recite the formula, or I think to myself, if this is i and j, is i plus j even, or is i plus j odd? So I'm just going to write out the formula for this one. The cofactor of the 2, 2 entry is going to be minus 1 to the 2 plus 2 times the minor of the 2, 2 entry. Because 2 plus 2 is even, this cofactor is just going to be equal to m22. And we already know how to find this minor already. So go ahead, pause the video, see if you can calculate this minor. Alright, so I'm going to do a little bit of work for you. This is in the 2, 2 spot. Row 2, column 2. Delete all of the information in row 2. All of the information in column 2. What are the values that are left over? 0, 3, minus 3, and 7. We'll do the 2 by 2 weave method here to get 0 plus 9. So our cofactor of the 2, 2 spot is equal to 9. Next up, let's calculate the cofactor of the 2, 1 entry. In this case, when we write out the formula, we're going to get minus 1 to the 2 plus 1. I plus J is going to be odd in this case. This means that the cofactor is equal to the minor, but with a sign change. We're going to multiply whatever we get here by minus 1. Okay, next up we delete row 2, column 1. So the 2, 1 entry is here. Let's get rid of all of this extra information that we don't need. What's left over? Minus 1, 3, 4, and 7. Now when you've written your minor down here, don't forget to carry down that minus 1. We're going to have to make a sign change after we calculate this 2 by 2 determinant. So let's go ahead, we'll use the weave method on this 2 by 2 to get negative 7 minus 12 more. So inside we get negative 19 and a sign change will give us positive 19. Alright, last example of the lecture. So what we want to do is we want to take this 4 by 4 matrix and find the cofactor of the 1, 1 entry. So, again, go back to your formula, or note that 1 plus 1 is even. So this cofactor is going to be equal to the 1, 1 minor. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to find the minor of the 1, 1 spot. 
Here is the 1 1 entry. We delete all of the info in row 1, all of the info in column 1, and here is what we have left over. We have 0, 1, 0, 5, 2, minus 1, 7, 1, and 0. In this case, we're going to have to do a 3 by 3 weave method in order to finish up this question. So here it is all finalized up. We get 0, minus 7, and 0 as our positive products, and as our negative products, we get 0, 0, and 0 for a final answer of minus 7. So the cofactor of our 1, 1 spot is minus 7.